Hey guys, welcome back. This will be part three of my high altitude space balloon project, adding a real time clock to the data logger uh, built with Arduino. Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'll be adding the uh, real-time clock to the data logger to uh, hopefully gather some scientific data from near space. What I did, I've already gone ahead and built it to save some time um, during the build here. So what I did is I went shopping and I went to my Arduino kit. This is my sort of ultimate Arduino box of goodies. And I went and dug up some of these. These are the real-time clock module. Uh, I think I have about three of these right now. And I uh, went ahead and soldered some headers on it and put it on the board. And we'll jump ahead to there. So in the previous video, I took this Arduino Nano and added the SD card logger to it. Um, for those not familiar, Arduino doesn't know what time it is unless you tell it. And for that, you need one of these real-time clock modules or something similar to it. So what it has is a backup battery, and once you set the date and time, it will forever be able to report by I squared C to the Arduino what the current date and time and seconds stamp is. So I went ahead and added it. It's simply four wires. It's a ground uh, positive and the remaining two I'll show you within the code and uh, I'll make the code available as well as I'll show you where I got the information because I have not used one of these uh, one of these modules before it was uh, new to me so bit by bit we're gonna build this thing up and hopefully send it to space I'll jump in and show you the code well guys here we are with the page that I found most of the information I needed to make my real-time clock modules work. I'll put this link in the uh, in the description. Uh, it's one of the, the best links I found. It had everything I needed. So um, it shows, if we can get this to pull up, this is the real-time clock module that I have and it showed the connections I needed. 5 volt and ground and the SDA and the SCL lines hooked up. I didn't hook anything else up. I didn't need to. Um, I'm guessing that these are for porting it back out on the serial line to daisy chain everything uh, which is pretty cool but uh, I didn't end up using that yet. So I'll throw this in the description and we'll go ahead and open up the code this is my Arduino code where it sits. Oops, not that. Let's try that again. There we go. So I'll uh, I'll start a, a thing on Thingiverse to document this and provide all these versions to someone who may need them, because this this code may be handy for someone not building a, a spacecraft, but but just a, a data logger circuit. So. Uh, V1 we've already gone through. V2 I added the real-time clock support, so the real-time clock connected to VCC and ground, the SDA to analog in pin 4, and the SCL analog in pin 5. What I did is use the I2C scanner.ino, which is on that web page, to find the I2C addresses, the I squared C addresses. It actually found two of them. Um, the uh, one of which I'm not sure what it is I suspect it might actually be a temp sensor on board so I have to have a look into that further it'll save me some grief later but uh, and then I use the set RTC .ino to manually set the date and time uh, a little bit of instruction on their page but it's really straightforward I'll include these in the Thingiverse file and uh, I won't really go through line by line through this code because it's boring as hell for most people but uh, what I did is I just imported basically the set real-time clock code into my existing code and messed around with it. It is not pretty by any stretch because I actually call from the real-time clock twice and I don't need to, but anyway. Um, set up the, the I2C. Uh, the pin mode is the same as before. I uh, set up the headers on the SD card file to include, I added time, which uh, prints the, the date and time header. 
in the void loop basically uh, just print the do the call to print date and uh, read the sensors and uh, print some stuff to serial again this is kind of all over the place but it is what it is it it works uh, check the SD card write to the SD card um, then we start off with the uh, real-time clock write all the values to that uh, print I which is just the loop counter data one and data two which are our two data points that have yet to be hooked up to sensors but uh, and void print date this will send it to serial uh, I'm sending stuff to serial like I mentioned in the last video so I can troubleshoot uh, outside the uh, space capsule with uh, Bluetooth on my cell phone so we will pull up the serial and this is what we're getting um, a okay it's working like a champ so when I open the serial monitor it checked the SD card it checked okay and we are logging and uh, we're logging date and time to the second and then these are just the analog floating values on the empty analog pins for now but uh, proof of concept we're doing okay uh, that is phase two of setting up the Arduino to data log now we have a timestamp, which uh, will be very valuable, much better than just a loop counter. Um, actually kind of critical if we want to sync up anything uh, to record, uh, to figure out where we were for temperature and height. So anyway, guys, that's it for today. Thanks for joining me today and good luck in all your electronics ventures.